welcome back to the channel. We are on the way to High Rock Lake in Salisbury, North Carolina. I came down last night and it's a Wednesday night. I stayed at my in-laws house real close to where Eddie lives. Just got in the truck with him and we're at our first stop at the gas station just 10 miles down the road. It is 3.30 a.m. We're going down today. It's uh, Thursday. We get a practice day today, stay tonight, and then practice day tomorrow, Friday, stay another night, and then tournament is Saturday. We'll see you on the water. Arrived. All right, everyone, we're on High Rock Lake. It is day one of practice. We're getting two days of practice this time. Got Eddie with me. That's my buddy here. It's his boat. We're going to try to get after him, get a light on film, got the chest mount on. It's going to be a beautiful day. Sun's starting to rise over here. Anyhow, we'll see you out here. Three, three and a half, I mean. Big one. Yeah, oh yeah, he's a lot heavier too. He looks heavier. everybody midday update day one of practice and it's not looking the best uh, Eddie got two in the boat and he lost one right at the boat so he had three keepers I have yet to catch a bass I've caught the wrong species once but they can see it's bright blue skies probably the worst conditions for summertime uh, water temp right now is 81 degrees we're trying to hit some offshore stuff some trees it's trying to hit it all honestly going to go run some docks in a minute because the sun's up real high but uh, hopefully we get more on camera for you right now. It's not a lot going on, but let's see what the day holds for us. Now he got off. That's all right, but you saw him. That's four pounder. There's a keeper here. Right off of this? Yep. There's a good one. Oh, golly. They pull good, I don't know. That other one was that size. Maybe that other one was at least that size. You know, we'd be sitting on pretty good. Oh. That other one was bigger than that. I thought he's bigger whenever he turns sideways. Is that up there in front of the dock? Yeah, let's get him here. Oh, you did. Man, I, I knew I said if that's a bass, that's a that's a huge bass. Oh, freaking shaky head. He didn't hit it. It was a he, it was over his back, I guess, and he was under that dock. 
He took off with it though, didn't he? All right, everyone, day one of practice is over, and we got four keepers in the boat, lost a couple keepers at the boat. Uh, Eddie caught three or four, I only caught one that got in. Lost a pretty good one at the boat. I think it was all on camera, hopefully it was, I haven't checked it yet. But anyhow, tomorrow's day two. Uh, we're changing some baits, putting new line, changing some baits. Got a loud tractor trailer, sorry about that. But uh, tomorrow's day two of practice, and we'll get on the water bright and early at 6 a.m., so we'll see you there. All right, guys, day two of practice on High Rock is here. Eddie, right here. We've got at least 25 poles on the deck. No, he's only got seven or eight. <laughs> I got eight with me today. Let's go see what happens. All right, guys, midday update of day two of practice, and we're stinking it up right now. We're not doing too good at all. I've got two in the boat, and they were both not keepers. You got any in the boat? One tiny bit. One, one really tiny, tiny one on a little crankbait, but uh, we're going to try to run some docks here. You can tell the sun's hat on. It's bright blue skies. We're out here enjoying the day, just not doing good fishing, but let's see how the rest of the day goes for us, and tomorrow's the tournament, so it's time to get it right. All right, everyone, day two of practice is over and we're back at the motel, got the boat parked, and today was a pretty bad day of fishing, to be honest with you. Uh, neither one of us even put a keeper in the boat, but that's how it goes sometimes. We got our meeting tonight, we're gonna go out for dinner. After I talk to my boater and see what we're gonna be doing tomorrow, I'll make some changes, but otherwise we'll see you on the water in the morning. All right, guys, we're about five minutes away from blast off. It's tournament morning at High Rock Lake. We're due back in at 2.30 with the guy I know, Mr. Tim Teague's our boater today. I know we'll have a lot of footage of him catching them. Hopefully I get some too. But uh, anyhow, let's get to the water. We'll see you there. Guys, I got a little one, hey, but he's too small. Of life. Yeah, I thought it was bluegill, but he's still there. Yeah, I had one just passing. Not 
not the right size. That's one. Thank you, sir. Boy. Not that big, though, but he's, hey, he's keeper. That's points right there. I appreciate it. Thank you. I got Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I'll put it up there. All right, everyone just got off the water and the high rock tournament is complete and i'm very happy to weigh in the one fish that i did get in the boat today the one keeper fish i did catch two other fish but they were both shorts uh, and these tournaments have to be a certain length and the length of today's tournament was 14 inches and the other two i caught were about 12 to 13. so I had to throw them back in otherwise i could have brought in two more to weigh in but they were too short but i'm happy with the one fish i did get to weigh in my boater tim got to weigh in two of them and uh, we definitely didn't get after today. We didn't have the best of days fishing, but we had a good time on the water together. So Tim, if you watch this, had a good day with you. And uh, hopefully Eddie, when he checks in, he got to fish a little longer than us because he had to take off after us. Hopefully he has the limit, got after him. Maybe we can stop and eat somewhere good on the way home. Otherwise, we'll be trucking it back pretty quick. But thank you for watching these videos. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next